My name is Charles Swain, Chuck Swain. I come from uh, Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, which is 32.2 miles on the 181 radial south of Oshkosh. Uh, we've been doing this um, since 1970 because that was the first year at Oshkosh, and so it's been a long time. Uh, it started out with um, plastic styrofoam coolers that were almost the size, and they were certainly the shape of coffins. And we kind of laughed about the plastic casket for years and years. And then one night, uh, Field Commander Collins, an ancient Brit who used to come over and spend Oshkosh with us, uh, couldn't sleep, got up in the middle of the night, went outside, and without thinking, sat on the top of one of those styrofoam coolers and, of course, ended up in it, cold and stiff, but before we got him out. And my friend Brian Dominic walked in the hangar one day and just just out of a you know quirk of nature, I said, do you know where I can find a, a casket? And he said, yeah, I got one in my warehouse. Well, that's all it took. So we took the casket from the warehouse, we, we stripped it, we lined it. That's where it is. It's been here for six, seven years now, I guess. We're having a lot of fun with this thing, an awful lot of fun with it. People have stopped by and they said, well, can I, can I buy a beer? No, you, you can't. We, we give you a beer. But see, the understanding is that next year, when you come, you bring the kind of beer you like. We've had people from um, O'Fallon, Nebraska, who will bring the local brew from down there. Somebody showed up the other night with polygamous porter from Utah. He said, you gotta have more than one, and he gives it to all of his wives. Um, we have beer from all over, the, all over the world. Somebody showed up the other day, a, a FedEx pilot from Japan came in with some soju, which is sort of a rice beer. And so at the end of the week, the, 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 the constitution of the casket has changed. It went from the kind of beer I like to the kind of beer everybody else likes. We've got a whole bunch of people with similar interests and, you know, airplanes, and we come back here and they kick back, put their feet up, have a beer, have a good time. Oh, friendships form, absolutely. We, this My friend. Bob here is 92 years old. He just now lost his medical. Bob has been yeah, a friend he, and customer for years, and he's been back here sucking up you beer. Started, for, you started in at least 1960 or 70 oh, uh, doing the annual. 67, I think. Yeah. We started licensing his airplane, so. And, and that's why this whole Wonderful thing started. Time. Now I can't get up there because I can't fly. <laughs> so I have to have somebody locally come over. Loss is, loss is medical. Um, I, I started this because in those days, the crowd control wasn't near as good as it is now. And if you drove up, the parking lots were full, you couldn't get out, it'd take forever, it was hot, it was dusty, and so I told my customers, stop back and have a beer, put your feet up, relax. Well, that grew and grew, and so we're having a good time. Yeah, have a wonderful time. Good <laughs> Thank luck. you, Bob. I mean, it, it is always outrageous. We're all, we always hold our sides laughing because we're, we're having so much fun. We never know what it's going to be. We've had all manner of celebrity back here. We've had uh, shuttle, Hoot Gibson and Bruce Bohannon, you know, these guys would show up and they bring all their friends in. So we've had shuttle crews, we've had Apollo astronauts in and out. It's kind of fun. Nobody gets stupid, nobody wants to, an autograph, nobody wants to take a picture. They're just knocking back and having a beer and having a good time. So it's, it's all good, no matter what. Our lager, which art in barrels, hell of be thy drink, thy will be drunk. I will be drunk at home as I am in the tavern. Give us this day our foamy head and forgive us our spillages as we forgive those who spill against us. Lead us not into incarceration and deliver us from hangovers. For thine is the beer, the bitter and the lager, forever and ever, bar men. TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.